So today, unfortunately, I need to do a video about the 2020 F250. So 2020 F250, 6.7 power stroke, 10 speed transmission, 25,000 miles on the truck right now. And overall, the truck's been serving me pretty well. However, when I was underneath the truck about two weeks ago to just turn the drain valve on the primary fuel filter to ensure that I didn't have any water on the fuel, you know, diesels require a little more maintenance in the wintertime, I noticed that there was oil splattered up underneath the underside of the truck. And the area where it was concentrated was by the slip yoke seal for the drive shaft where it comes out of the transfer case. So I thought, oh, you know, no big deal. The warranty, I think, is a five-year, 60,000-mile warranty on the diesel engine, something like that. So, no big deal. I take it down to Ford, and I told them, hey, I have a leaky seal. I'd like to get this repaired. So what, what put a bad taste in my mouth from the start is I made an appointment date two and a half weeks out, right? Because they said, we have no uh, time right now. You know, it's, uh, we'll make an appointment date for two and a half weeks, gotta take it care of. So I drop it off. A whole day goes by and they don't call me. So I call them at the end of the day. Oh, we're sorry, we didn't get to it. We'll, we'll make sure we get to it tomorrow. So that already put a bad taste in my mouth. No communication and I depend on this truck, right? Like, so not notifying me that it's gonna be an extra day put a bad taste in my mouth. And additionally, uh, they would not give me a, a courtesy loaner vehicle because I did not purchase the vehicle from that dealership. And I thought, you know, it sucks, but fine. I, I disagree with that concept to begin with, but it is what it is. So they call me up the next day and they, the, uh, the service salesman, right? Because you have the service salesman at the counter and then you have the actual technicians underneath the vehicles doing the actual mechanical work. So the service salesman calls me and he says, uh, yeah, you know, our master technician of 25 years uh, is looking at this, and it looks like he did something to the uh, slip yoke shaft. I said, yeah, it was a little bit rusty. Uh, two months ago, I put some rust oil on it, just made it on there. And he said, uh, all right, let me, let me go back and talk to the mechanic. So he talks to the mechanic, and the mechanic says, uh, uh, tells the service salesman, yeah, the paint caused the boot to fail. And I was on the phone with this guy for about 20 minutes, disputing my case because I think that's a load of nonsense. I'll take you out of the truck in a moment here and show you what I'm talking about, but rust is like sandpaper. It's a very rough texture, and if anything's going to cause that seal to fail, in my opinion, I would have thought it would have been the rust. So I thought by putting a little bit of rust oleum on that shaft, you know, it slides in and out of the seal, which you'll see, but putting some rust oleum would actually prevent that rust from forming and creating a rougher surface but they claim it did just the opposite. They claim because I painted this slip yoke shaft, that's what caused the seal to fail, and therefore they would not cover the repair. So we were already off to a very bad start. So, while I was on the phone with the guy, I asked him, you know, all right, it, it sucks, I disagree with you, you know, but how much would it be for you to replace the seal because you already got it up on the lift and whatever? Is it going to be like $100? Verbatim, that's what I said. And he said, uh, well, actually, it's going to be $515 plus tax. So let's take, let's take a look at the service ticket here. Try and make sure you're in focus here. So customer states, vehicle is leaking fluid. Customer painted drive shaft with rust oil. Drive shaft scored. Scored. I don't know how you can score something by painting it. Scored up seal for yoke and caused leak. Customer declined repair of $515 plus tax. And then the lower part was just, uh, there was some warranty for the wiper blades or something like that. So they fixed that, no charge. But $515, they wanted to charge me to replace the slip yoke seal. So, obviously I declined that repair because that's a load of nonsense. I mean, that job takes literally a half hour, which I'm gonna do the repair myself because $515. Anyway, I go down the hall after I finish up with them, which I'll show you the video of me talking to them. Picking up the 250. The, the text said because it was painted, drive shaft was painted, that's what caused the tear. Yeah, his experience, he's a 25 year plus senior master when we encounter stuff like this. Yeah. They bounced them because it's not factory any longer. Okay. <laughs> So the recall was completed. Okay. You are ready to go. All right. Thank you. But I went down to the parts department and I, I gave them the uh, 
I guess the quote for the service because they were able to look up the part. They said, yeah, it's a $50 part. We can give it to you for $46. I said, all right, you know, let's, let's just do it. So I ordered it, you know, and I get the part in a few days later. Of course, I go online, look up the same part number, and you know, I could get a ship to my door for 26 bucks. But, it, you know, I'm there. I can confirm that it's the right part. So if this ever happens again, now I have that part number in the future. And of course, anybody out there that has the same issue, they can reference uh, these two videos that I'm about to do, and they can see what the actual part number is their self. So let me take you out of the truck and let me show you how I scored up the seal according to these scumbags. All right, so we are under the truck. That is the drain that I was talking about. So that's what I was uh, just ensuring I had no water in that primary fuel filter. But here's the transfer case. Here's the leaking seal. Here's the slip yoke. And here's the drive shaft. So when I was under here, I noticed all this splatter up here. And as you can see, there's a good bit of splatter right there. There's actually a little wet spot on the carpet from the seal leaking. So inside this transfer case is automatic transmission fluid. So look at the rust on this, right? You see the rust around where that universal joint uh, fits into this slip yoke shaft? So that's what this initially looked like, right? So you see that rust? This was all rusty right here. So I figured, you know, I'll just paint it with some rust oleum. No big deal. And again, they claim because I painted that shaft, that is why this seal failed. I think that's an absolute load of nonsense. You can see how far the paint is back from the seal. I mean, the paint's back like three quarters of an inch. So, you know, as the rear end, right, the suspension goes up and down, uh, the drive shaft will go forward or out. So this is why, you know, this slips in and out. This is a slip yoke shaft to account for that rear suspension travel. And again, they're clean because I put that paint on there. That's what caused this seal to fail. So you guys let me know what you think. But I think this is a, a load of nonsense. But nevertheless, it makes for excellent video content. It puts me through a, a little bit of stress, but no big deal because uh, I'm about to repair this myself. So... Thanks for watching, and I will catch you on the repair video uh, coming out right after this video.